today, November 18th, 2020, we celebrate the 32nd anniversary of one of my most favorite Disney movies of all time, that being Oliver and Company. This classic Disney animated film reimagines the Charles Dickens story of Oliver Twist in a modern day, well at least for the time period, New York City. This movie stars a number of great and talented actors and actresses, including a lot of very nice talented musicians like Billy Joel and people like that, which it's just crazy to think of how wonderful of a cast this movie has actually got. It is a very underrated film, which is I guess, I don't know, I don't know why I like this, it's just, or it got me into Disney, that's what this film is, and I've just been collecting a lot of different merchandise for it, and in this video I plan on showcasing everything that I have going on over here. I am reading somewhat from a script for this video, I did want to mention that since I did do a little bit of research about these products and when they came out and everything, so this is I guess somewhat of an informational video to celebrate the 32nd anniversary of this movie. So, starting our journey all the way back in 1988, the year the movie released in theaters, I have a few things to show off. Starting with my two most recent things, which I just also, before I get into that, I did want to say I love this layout. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and here's just everything that I own for this movie, minus some things that I couldn't bring over because they are in certain areas that I can't bring them over, though you will see those things in this video just as some separate shots. So like I said, starting all the way back in the year 1988, I just recently got these two flocked figures of both Oliver and Dodger. These were previously exclusive to Sears, rest in peace. They sadly do not exist anymore, really, anywhere in the world. But you can still actually buy from them online, but they don't really do any more partnerships with Disney like they did back in the day for stuff like this. These are part of a series of four different characters that were released for the movie as like these flocked type action figures. The two other ones being for Francis and Tito that I probably will hopefully get some sometime in the future, but you know, I, it's really hard to actually find these action figures inside this brand new condition like I did here, which I was like surprised to find these because I only paid $5 on eBay to get both of these characters, which I think is just crazy because considering the original retail price of both of these being $3 a piece, and then in addition, adjusted for inflation, these would currently be like $6 in today's money, which is another really crazy thing to think about. In addition to the fact that these are probably worth about 50 to 60 bucks in this condition as of right now. So I was very lucky to find these on eBay for such a cheap price. I have no idea if I'm gonna open them. If I do get doubles of these eventually, I will probably do an unboxing video or something like that. Though for right now, I do want to keep them mint and sealed inside these boxes, and they just look really nice. You know, there are some things that I do have to talk about when it comes to the design of these, like some of the colors being slightly off, but I don't know if that's because of these being released just exactly when the movie came out, or if it's just because of the time period. You know, it's something that I do have to slightly complain about, like the, the darker colors for Dodger, I think that that brown color should be a little bit lighter, and then we are missing the yellow for like Oliver's belly area, which I think is something to slightly complain about, but I don't know if they would have been able to actually get that for the time period, but either way, the packaging for these, and another thing that I did also want to talk about is that these are a lot bigger than I thought, you know, I thought that these were going to be a lot smaller, like putting it in like a size comparison, I was thinking that it would be like about that size right there compared to what you see there, but like I said, I'm really happy that I got these for such a cheap price, and it's another very nice thing to add to my collection. Only a year ago, I am beyond happy to have this next piece in my collection, that being this limited edition musical memories box, which featured a boombox with Oliver and a bird jamming out to the song Good Company. This particular piece is numbered 2,842 out of 19,000. 750, which is a large amount to be numbered, which I don't really know why it's numbered, but it's fine. I did not get this with the original box, though. I did pay around $40, so unfortunately, I don't think it's working anymore. 
so I guess it's just gonna be a display piece from now on. When it comes to the design of this, I do really love how this looks so handmade with like the painting style for it. I think it just looks very nice. And also having the logo from the very bottom of that cylinder area right there. And you know, it's just a really nice piece to have in my collection. It's something that I never expected to find ever. You know, I when I saw it, I just said, I have to have it. And I did haggle them down from an original price of $75 for this. So that's one other thing that I did want to point out, that I did haggle down the price on that. And I'm really happy that it works, and it's just another very nice thing to add to my collection. Getting into some of the promotional stuff back in the year 1988, for the original release of the movie, McDonald's in the US at least, had a line of finger puppets and two plush Christmas ornaments. One of these I do actually own, that being the Oliver one that I just recently got this year at my local thrift store deep end of the sandbox. Though you can tell that I got it used because the music box within it doesn't really play as loud as I think it's supposed to, though I'm happy that I still have it with the original box, that's really why I bought it since it was there, and you know, I really just am trying to get as much Oliver and Company stuff as I can if I can. I also did want to note that Europe for the same year got some different McDonald's toys, that being a wave of four different toys that we didn't get in the US unfortunately, but you know, you could probably find those on eBay either way. For the movie's re-release in theaters back in April of 1996, the film was accompanied by a line of toys from Burger King. This was the third and fourth time the movie got promotional products from at least a fast food location, with the previous two times being from McDonald's, like I said before. And here is one of the toys that I got from the Burger King line, that being this pullback Dodger toy from the second wave of toys at Burger King that ran during October 1996 for the direct-to-video release of the film. I got this at a yard sale for like a dollar a year ago or so. I got it used so it wasn't new in the packaging, but you know, it's close to the original retail price for these Burger King toys, which was around $1.99, which is around $3 in today's money. Another really cool thing that I have in my collection, which wasn't displayed on that table other than the envelope, is this 12 by 15 inch lithograph that was released in the year 1996, available from Disney stores when you pre-ordered the movie. I found this at a yard sale for around $5 a while back. This was probably one of my first pieces of merchandise that I got for this movie. Like I said, it included the original envelope, which I am really happy with, though it does have a little stain on the side of it, and it is a little worse for wear but it does have the logo and that very nice look of the city and I really love the fade to the white and the blue right there it just looks really really nice when it comes to the actual lithograph itself I do have it framed up in my bedroom which is why I don't have it down here since it is hanging on my wall with a permanent sticking charm though it does have that original Disney lithograph look and it does feature all the main characters for the movie one of the ornaments that I only just recently got as of last year was the Oliver wearing a Santa hat ornament. This was part of the Gruller Christmas Magic Collection, which I don't really know when this was released since it doesn't say on the box a particular date, though I might be wrong, I'll put something up on the screen if I see something, but I did do a little bit of research and I couldn't really find when this item was released, though I was lucky enough to find this on eBay for a good price and I did pay around I think 5 bucks for it. And it came with the ornament itself inside its original box with all the regular packaging material inside as well. You guys might see another video sometime in the future where I just show off all of my Disney ornaments. That might be something coming around December. We'll have to wait and see. Getting right into the movies, I only have two copies of this movie in my collection, other than of course being able to watch it on Disney+. Plus. So going all the way back to February 2009, Oliver and Company got released on DVD celebrating its 20th anniversary. I just recently bought a new and sealed copy of this for $1 at a yard sale. This is the DVD version, it does include a slip cover, which I do really like getting that, and like I said, it is new in the packaging, it does have the ceramic wrap around the movie. Another really cool thing that I did want to point out just as another small Disney thing is that they advertise Space Buddies on the very front of that which is just another very interesting thing for the time period and you know like I said I'm really happy to have the slip cover for this and it does have a very nice shine to both the front and the back giving you that holographic look and even just a little bit of that embossing right there for the main characters. 
Disney's Vinylmation series started in January of 2011. Within the first series for the animation line, we got one of our main characters of Dodger. I was lucky enough to find this character at New York Comic Con back in the year 2019 when everything was still open around the world. I got this for only $5 considering the retail price for this was originally $9.95 which is about $12 in today's money. I think that this was a pretty great deal. It did not come with the original blind box since these were part of a blind box series so that would have made it even harder to get if I was actually looking for the blind boxes because I could have probably gotten other characters but I'm really happy just to have Dodger within my collection. In August of 2013, Disney re-released Oliver and Company on Blu-ray for the very first time. This version celebrated its 25th anniversary. I bought this version of the movie conveniently on this day back in the year 2018 at my local Best Buy. This version did not include the slipcover, though I know that if I did get it back in the day when it actually released, there would have been a slipcover. When it comes to the design of the actual casing right there, it does feature the same exact art that you would have gotten for the DVD that came out back in the year 2009 and I believe you get the same exact extra features which I don't know why they re-released it with a five year gap right there I think it's very odd since the other one is actually still available on the shelves in some locations and I was very disappointed that we didn't see anything for the 30th anniversary but I guess that was too close you know maybe we'll see something in another few years for the 35th anniversary maybe a 4k release or something like that would really like to see a signature collection though I'm not sure if they're still doing that since I haven't actually seen too much about that as of lately. Getting closer to the end of the video back in November of 2018 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the movie Disney released two new plushes of both Dodger and Oliver. These inevitably became my next firsts when it came to hunting for merchandise. I was so happy that they came out at a time that I was able to actually snatch them and it wasn't very long from that point that they completely disappeared from the shelves. Overall, compared to the previous plush designs, I think that Disney did a great job. I got Dodger first at the Disney store for about $20 and I would later buy Oliver online for around $15. At first, I didn't know if I really wanted to go through with buying plushes but I ended up buying it anyway because what made me buy this was the lady at the Disney store. What she said to me was, no one is ever too old for Disney. And that stuck with me as I then got more confident and it made me express my love for Disney even more by buying a lot of shirts and DVDs and snow globes galore. Another thing that I got around the same time to celebrate the 30th anniversary was this Christmas ornament featuring both Oliver and Dodger and a lot of hot dog. This cost me around $20 as well, though I believe I might have gotten it while a sale was going on. I'm not really too sure, but either way, this is probably one of my favorite ornaments within my collection. So overall, this movie does really mean a lot to me in a lot of ways. It brought me into the world of Disney and collecting all sorts of different things. It's just a new hobby that I never really expected I would ever get into, but I'm really happy that I did. So yeah, that's pretty much really all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. What your thoughts are on this video? Would you like to see anything more like this? I, I, I just made up some random name for a series in my head and I was like, Yep, that's gonna work, so hopefully that brings people in. I don't know how this is gonna do, and of course I am posting it on here just so that I can make a little bit of money on it instead of my other channel that I was originally gonna post some other stuff on, but I thought, you know, might as well just start posting whatever the heck I want here, so otherwise remember to like and subscribe if you have not already. I do post mainly LEGO content on this channel, so if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing, but otherwise I will be posting some other different types of content in the future just to try some things out just for fun. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!